In an interesting book called Authorship in Film Adaptation, Jack Boozer introduces a collection of essays by a number of film scholars by talking about a very important stage in the cinematic adaptation of novels that we don't think about very often. And that's the script stage or the screenplay stage. And it's actually very interesting and, uh, and quite complicated. Now, one of the things that Boozer talks about is why that it's not considered. And one reason he suggests is because there's a low interest in screenplays. And one of the reasons for this possibly has to do with Hollywood's low regard for screenwriters. If you see films like Adaptation or Barton Fink, you'll see a pretty decent representation of how screenwriters are treated. And I would add to this that there's interesting books to be read about Aldous Huxley and Fitzgerald and Faulkner and the time they spent in Hollywood, which was actually pretty regal compared to the masses of writers who migrated to Hollywood from the East Coast and New York City during the Depression when all their writing jobs um, dried up. And part of that mass migration was involved in creating the stereotype or archetype of the screenwriter trying to get a quick buck by just throwing together a movie. Um, so that's part of our general impression of screenwriters as being lowlifes and creeps. Another reason Boozer suggests that screenplays are not thought about in the process of bringing a novel to film is that screenplays are very rarely printed and bound and sold, particularly in comparison to novels and other kinds of books. They're really just a drop in the ocean. Um, and when they are printed and sold, usually what you're buying is not a script at all, but a transcript that has been formatted to look like a script. And in truth, I don't see how that uh, any screenplay that is, is published can actually be definitive because of the way filmmaking works. There's never really just one script. There's always multiple scripts. And if you've ever seen uh, a script on a screenplay, or sorry, a script on a set, there's often multiple colored pages and all kinds of uh, sticky notes hanging off of it because on a day-to-day -day basis, changes are made to pages, new scenes are added, new, new lines of dialogue and so forth. It's a very fluid and flexible thing. And the idea that at the end there's going to be a definitive document is really unrealistic. So we need to really remember that adaptations, just like any film, whether the film is based on a novel or not, all films are scripted and based on scripts. And an interesting thing that Boozer gets into is that scripts are the cornerstone of not only how a film is made, but how it gets sold. So before a film is even made, the screenplay, even screenplays that are based on novels, help determine budget. And the screenplay helps attract various levels of talent to a project. And there again, there may be changes to, to the script when an actor reads it, gives various input to a producer or a screenwriter, and things get changed. Another thing that the script is used for is to leverage uh, money from particular investors that might be interested in working on the film or contributing to it financially and this happens long before pre-production stage and they will be they'll be keenly interested in using that script before uh, a single second is shot to get distribution deals in place and to uh, if possible, arrange DVD sales long in advance, and in certain cases, the f they'll want to be producing or thinking about producing synergy products like T-shirts and and posters and hats and uh, whatever the frisbees that have the name of the film on it. Uh, an interesting thing to add here too are Kickstarter campaigns that have emerged recently. Now, they won't necessarily let you see the script. But what they will do is say that if you contribute a certain amount of money to their production, you will get your name in the credits and your name on IMDb. You'll get a t-shirt and a poster and maybe you'll get a copy of the screenplay or one of the many screenplays that went into the film. And essentially what they're doing is using the story of the movie in order to produce it, uh, to create the production that's needed. So. To sum up, there's always a difference between the script that's used to get money from an investor and to attract talent, and the script that's used to make a film. 